It's five questions on everybody's favorite 90s Disney witch movie, Hocus Pocus, with Patreon subscriber Kyle Bonin from North Carolina. This is Trivia with Buds. Be. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out this show. I know we are out of the month of October where all the spooky stuff is going on, but today's episode is all about Hocus Pocus. This is one of those movies I didn't watch a ton growing up, but I know people love, especially Jess Whitener, who mentioned it on our 90s Witches podcast just a week ago or so. Um, Kyle Bonin, who is also a Patreon subscriber to this show, said, lay it on me, bring me five questions on Hocus Pocus, and let's see how many I can get. So that's what we did. We had a quick phone call as I parked in a car in front of my grandma's house. It was a great little episode, and I think you will enjoy me and Kyle chatting about uh, North Carolina and witches and Bette Midler and all kinds of fun stuff. I'm recording this very late at night, the night before I post it. Uh, I just hosted Bingo from 10.30 to 12.30 at a dive bar called Highbrow in Upland, California. You can play with me every Monday night if you like pop culture, music, movies, and numbers bingo. We give away all kinds of amazing prizes. I also do trivia and bingo at their sister location on Thursday nights from 10.30 to 12.30 as well. Thursdays at the Highbrow in Pomona. All these locations are on my website, TriviaWithBuds.com. You can click around and see all all the fun stuff going on there. Special Disney event coming up at Ogo Pogo Brewing. That is on November 29th, and uh, tickets are 10 bucks. Click the banner at the top of the website, the homepage, TriviaWithBuds.com. That'll take you right to where you can get tickets. You get up to eight people on your team, and we'll be doing a ton of amazing live action and Disney and Disney Channel trivia. So get ready for that. I just wanted to plug that since today's episode is about Hocus Pocus, which is a Disney produced movie. And we're going to jump into those five questions on those witches right now. Here we go. Sitting here in my mobile recording studio, or as I like to call it, my 2009 Hyundai Sonata with 263,000 miles on it. And I am on the phone with a good friend of mine named Mr. Kyle Bonin. What's up, Kyle? I'm doing pretty good, sir. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm sitting here in Fontana, California. Where am I talking to you from? Uh, Gastonia, North Carolina. Gastonia, North Carolina. Now, your name on Instagram is Gas House Saint. Is that what that refers to? Yes. Uh, the nickname of Gastonia is the Gas House. I'm a big uh, Boondock Saints fan. so. Very good, man. I just uh, was talking to a friend. I had him on my show last week, my friend Steve Nelson. We talked about murder weapons, and uh, we talked about throwing a, uh, a piece of a toilet. Or no, they throw the whole toilet out the balcony onto that guy, don't they, the mobster? Yeah, he gets handcuffed to it, and he jumps off the roof, and it hits the one guy in the head. Yeah. Uh, brutal. Can you imagine getting hit by a toilet like from like four stories up? There's nothing worse. Oh, you, it's instant death, right? Instant death. What do you like so much about the Boondock Saints? Uh, do you like the second one as much as the first or just the first? The, the second one's not as good, but I, that first one was just, it's a cult classic. And it's, I didn't watch it until years later. Well, I probably shouldn't have watched it when it first came out. I was like, <laughs> yeah, like five or six. Sure, sure, yeah. I remember seeing that it. That movie wasn't. Yeah as big as it should have been probably because they pulled it from theaters like two weeks after it came out yeah because the the columbine shooting they thought it was too graphic to be in theaters at the time oh i didn't know that that they had that interesting tie-in with which is why it was pulled out but yeah it was a pretty violent movie um it was one of those movies i saw on dvd you know somebody rented it like a friend and they're like this movie's actually great and then it kind of gained that cult classic status which is not unlike the uh the movie that we're doing some trivia on today you uh you gave me your topic for the month of october we're getting into it uh, about a week late but it was hocus pocus which also has a cult following and then became super popular years later did you see this movie in theaters as a kid i did not i actually saw it on uh I don't think I saw it on until it came out on TV, probably on Disney Channel. Yeah, I'm with you. I I introduced it to my daughter 
last year and she was obsessed with it. <laughs> yeah. She's watched, she watched it pretty much every day this October. That's so. perfect. Yeah. I know people, I know adults, uh, shout out to Jess Whitener. I had her doing some nineties, witch trivia the other day. She said she's seen it three or four times in the month of October as well as an adult. So it's, it's something for everybody. I've seen it. Uh, I think once as an adult and I get why kids like it. It's not like one of my favorite movies, but I bet it would have been if I watched it when I was a kid, you know? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I watch it today as an adult, and I still get, like, I think I get a little bit more out of it, too, because I get, like, the subtle adult humor that went along with it. That's that awesome. You didn't get as a kid. Of course, of course. We're going to see how much you get as an adult here with five questions on Hocus Pocus for today's episode. How many do you think you're going to get out of five? Out of five? Uh... I'll go conservative four out of five. Four out of five. That's pretty conservative. I like that. Very good. Here comes your first question for some Hocus Pocus trivia. Question number one. In what century were the witches originally executed in Salem? What century were they executed in? Uh, The 15th century? It was not the 15th century. So I think it's uh, it's the 17th 17th century, which would be... Yeah, because it was the 1600s. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes, Yes, you're right. You're right. 17th century so uh I, yeah go ahead i always confuse like i always whatever i knew it was the 1600s yeah i don't i don't, I don't ever remember if it's supposed to be like one above or one below of what you're what you're going for you know what i mean yeah it always screws with me too here's question number two which of the three main witches uh said this was her favorite film of all time in a 2008 interview so of all her films that she did which of the three main witches said this was her favorite well, I just heard that Sarah Jessica Parker has no idea what this film is about anymore, yeah, so yeah. I, would, I would say Bette Midler. It was Bette Midler. Yeah, your other choice is Kathy Najimy, and a lot of people don't remember her name uh, all the time. But uh, Bette Midler was uh, in an interview in 2008. She said this was one of her most memorable movies. Uh, I just read a thing that said uh, Rosie O'Donnell was supposed to play the Kathy and the Jimmy part, but did not want to play a witch. She's like, I don't know if I have a witch in me or something like that. So interesting stuff. You got one. Uh, you missed the first one, got the second one. Let's see how you do in the third one. Here's number three. The role of Max Dennison was originally made uh, for what teen heartthrob before he turned it down for a major role in another 1993 movie? Oh. So this was a big star of the 90s. This was uh, going to be maybe a big role for him. And he said, now nah, I'm going to do this other movie instead. And then that movie really kind of propelled him into some great acting stardom. He's thinking it over. Uh, uh, Ryan Gosling? Ryan Gosling's not a bad guess because he would have been the age that would have been perfect for that. The answer was Leonardo DiCaprio. He was, uh, he went out for the, you know, he, uh, he got What's Eating Gilbert Grape in 1993 instead, uh, yeah. which uh, totally turned his whole career around. So the, he went from being in Critters 4 to uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, <laughs> and then uh, one of the most revered of all time. Question number four, in a scene when the sisters get off a bus, a child is seen dressed as which Beauty and the Beast character? So it was a little nod to Disney. And uh, the, the 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 witches get off a bus, and you see someone dressed as a Beauty and the Beast character. Which character do you think it was? Gosh. I understand that uh, most of these questions I'm asking you have nothing to do with actually have really seen uh, oh, the movie. No, that, they're, that's, they're, that's fine. They're more I mean, like I, secondary. It's kind of an obscure movie anyway. That's true. Um, Belle? It's not Belle. It's actually Mrs. Potts, the oh. the character voiced <laughs> okay. by Angela Lansbury, Mrs. Potts, seen yeah. right when they get off the bus. There's also someone trick-or-treating in a Michael Myers mask, I just read, um, at one scene in this movie. And uh, question number five, what is Thackeray Binks' little sister's name, the one that goes missing at the beginning of the movie? What's her first um, name? The only reason I know this is because there's a drinking game that goes along with it, and you're supposed to take a sip every time they say Emily. Oh, yeah, there you go. That Hey, it pays to, to be drinking and watching fun movies. The answer was <laughs> Emily. So you got a nice two out of five, a little lower than you thought, but we all learned oh, some stuff fun. about Hocus Pocus. What would you think of those questions? A little too hard? No, I, I, I'm not one of those guys that is or trivia players that is uh, that particular about hard questions. I mean, 
you're uh, you're a big trivia guy. Uh, you started listening to my show, I want to say, about a year ago, and then you uh, yeah. all the time will send me awesome screenshots of your scorecards from live trivia nights around Gastonia, North Carolina. What do you like so much about playing live trivia? I, it's, it's just something I've always gotten, uh, like because I've always considered myself like a, a connoisseur of useless knowledge. Uh, my mom <laughs> passed it on to me. It's I retain useless facts, yeah, very easily. I think a lot so, of people are like that, which is why it's so communal and why people kind of find their groups and they go right. out and they play. So that's awesome, man. I'm glad you found the show. What uh, What's a reason you listen to the show week after week, day after day? I just uh, enjoy your questions. The, the the categories that people come up with are amazing. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for your support, your patronage, and uh, we'll see you next time on the show. All right. No problem. Cheers. Boom. How'd you do against Kyle? Did you get all five? Did you do better than he thought he would do? Um, I am not somebody who would nail these questions. So if you missed a few, you'd be in the same boat as me. And that boat would be paddling, uh, up Shit's Creek, as they say, uh, Shit's Creek. Great show. If you're looking for a fun new show to watch, I think there's four seasons on Netflix. I've seen them all and I might start it over again. Um, also looking to start Riverdale from the beginning, uh, which I've talked about in the last few episodes of this show. I'm going to start Riverdale. I'm going to finish Ozark and I'm going to start reading books again. I really miss reading books. I'm staring at a Harry Potter hardcover illustrated edition. Maybe I'll read that to the daughter or the son if they'll pay attention to me. Uh, if you have any books that you would recommend that I read, send them my way. I'm, uh, always looking for a good little novel to start. Also nonfiction. I like nonfiction as well. Guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the show. If you want to support the show, go to patreon.com slash trivia with Bud. See what we got going on over there. I just mailed all the rewards for November. I sent people Big League Chew, guys, the grape flavor. It's really good stuff and a bunch of other cool stuff. So click around, see what looks good to you. Throw a few bucks my way and I'll send some fun stuff your way for helping keep this show growing bigger and better every single day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers. Cheers.